Hello everyone! Welcome to Jokar's vlog. Someone asked me how was my trip to Taiwan. In this video, allow me to share it to you. Part 2 at muna tayo, everyone. So, andito na ako sa Mactan Cebu International Airport. Morning flight. First flight papunta ng Manila. Kasi I have a connecting flight. Pagdating, hinanap ko ang PAL section to check in my luggage. After after that, nagpunta ako sa travel tax section to ask about the travel tax. About the travel tax, my story time ako later. So after paying the travel tax, punta sa boarding gates para ma-check yung hand carry at para din makapasok na. At once makapasok na, hahanapin ang assigned gate. So, yan. Everything's okay. Lakad na muna. Hanap sa gate number. So, gate number 10 ang hinahanap ko dyan. Yan ang gate number 10. And my bagong announcement to transfer to gate 8. Kaya naglakad na naman. Ako dyan, hinanap ang gate number 8. So that is the gate number 8. So while waiting, kasi may kunting delayed. Alright, so videos and pictures muna while waiting. And the wait is over, light up na, prepare the boarding pass, passport, or IDs. So if everything's okay, lakad ulit, papunta na ng airplane. Oh yan. So that's my first airplane for today's video. Say hi to Philippine Airlines. So this is my first time sa Philippine Airlines. So we'll see how far, how good the service will be. Alright, so check your seat number. So I'm assigned to seat number 47B. Buti na lang walang nakaupo sa 47A and C. So I transfer ako sa 47A. Of course, with a permission asking permission sa crew so before anything else so they always need to remind the passengers for their SOP so for their SOPs we need to look and listen so mga paalala bago lumipad Later on, so I'll be sharing to you story time about the travel time. Binasa ko yung sa website ng PAL at may nabasa ako doon about sa required travel tax. So nung nagpunta ako sa travel tax section, tinanong ko if what is it about. Kasi hindi ko alam may mga discount pala. So ang sabi doon, if you did not include the travel tax charge when you purchase your ticket, so we need to pay it at the airport. And then for the full travel tax, so we need to pay 1,620 pesos. Yun lang ang alam ko 
na amount na mabayaran. Meron pa pala dalawa. May mayroon sa tinatawag na Standard Reduced Travel Tax worth 810 pesos. Hindi ko alam kung anong mga specific requirements about it. For the Standard Reduced Travel Tax, hindi ko natanong that time. Ang tinanong ko lang yung about sa Privilege Reduced Travel Tax for Dependent of Overseas Filipino Workers. Kasi dati akong OFW and then my husband is an OFW. So I am his dependent. So tinanong ko kung anong mga requirements kasi ang mabayaran lang for this dependent OFW is 300 pesos. Malaking save na din yun. So 300 pesos and then hinanap lang yung flight itinerary yung PSA marriage certificate and then yung OEC ng husband ko. So, buti na lang, I have those copies in my email and I send it to them. So, they process it and then after that, when everything is okay, I just pay 300 pesos for my travel tax. Alright, that's it for the travel tax. Hindi ko alam if other airlines may ganitong policy. Hindi ko, I don't have any idea. So, just take note whenever you travel international, patanong na lang sa mga airlines nyo kung applicable din ba sa kanila. Kasi thank God, meron ang PAL, Philippine Airlines. So, yun, the story time about the travel tax. So, I was happy, 300 pesos lang yung nabayaran This time, so waiting na para mag-take off. So, I recorded take off ko from Pactan Cebu International Airport up in the sky. It's another travel experience. Subscribe, share, comment about my trip. Thank you for watching. Babush!